guys, welcome back to the channel Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday all about bookish related things. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my November TBR. I know I did not record an October wrap up video, and that's because I read a total of 33 books and I just did not feel like editing that long of a video. I know that sounds insane, but I will have a link down below that you can check out to see all of the books that I read as far as, I'm sorry, as well as the rating. So click the link to go directly to my blog to check that out. But I'm going to dive into this. I have 14 books to share with you guys, four which are ebooks and then 10 which are physical books. Majority of these books were sent to me for review, so I'm excited about that. So I'm just going to start off with the ebooks that I have to share with you guys. Okay, so the first book that I have for you guys was actually sent to me via audiobook to review and I decided to just get the ebook to read as I listened and I'm so happy I did. I already read this actually at the end of October, which I don't know why I'm including it, but I had it set for my November TBR, so that's why I'm including it. Um, but that is Cousin by Bethany Chris. Hope you guys can see this. This is an adult romance that deals with the mafia and I loved everything about this. The romance was on point. The action was on point the humor was on point everything about this was amazing and the ending just made it so worth it i was actually going to give this a four star rating but the last chapter forced me to give it a five stars because it was so so good and it left me with all the things that i wanted to happen that technically already had happened it was such a good romance um so i definitely read this already gave it a five stars but it was on my november tbr the next book I have is actually from an author that I kind of like binge read last month, and that is going to be V.E. Schwab. I absolutely adored her Shade of Magic trilogy, so I decided that I wanted to continue reading more of her work every month. So this month I'm reading two of her books. The first one is going to be Vicious by her, and this is an adult fantasy. I don't know much about this. The only thing that I know is that there are two guys. One is one wants to be a superhero, the other one wants to be a villain, if I'm not mistaken. And one is trying to save people, the other one is trying to kill. The I, I don't really know much about it. I just know that it's a fantasy and her writing is phenomenal. So I want to dive into this as soon as possible. The third book again follows the same thing with me wanting to read more of Victoria Schwab's work. So this time I have This Savage Song, which is a YA fantasy. I feel like it has the same vibe as Vicious, just more on the YA level. This one deals with monsters and humans, though. So, yeah, that's all I know. Again, I don't want to know much about this book because I just want to dive into it because that's how I did it when I read The Shades of Magic. I did not read a lot of the synopsis. I kind of, like, got the key points to it and then dove in and felt so in love with that. So I'm hoping to do that with this duology. The last ebook I have is one that is kind of like a bonus if I can get through the other ones, and that is going to be Caravelle or Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. I don't know much about this. I did read the first chapter a while ago and then stopped reading it. I know that this is a YA fantasy that deals with um, magic and a carnival or a circus. This is a carnival or a circus. That's all I know. Moving on to my physical books. So the first book that I have is actually going to be a graphic novel, which I already read, um, and it's by Patricia Briggs, and that's going to be Alpha and Omega Cry Wolf Volume 1. I actually did enjoy this. This was a really pretty awesome paranormal adult graphic novel. I quite enjoyed the characters. The artwork was stunning. If I can show you guys. The artwork was really pretty good and um, yeah, so I gave this four stars. Or was it five stars? I think it was four stars, but if it's five stars, I'll put it on the screen. But um, yeah, I already read this, completed it. I definitely want to read volume two. The next book I have is a YA contemporary that actually has been out for forever and um, came out in 2007, I believe. And this is one that has a show to it that I have not decided, I decided not to watch the show until I actually read the book. And that is going to be 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I've had the ebook of this since it came out, but at my library's local book sale, they had a copy of a physical copy. So I decided to get it and I'm quite excited to dive into this. This is a YA contemporary that deals with suicide. I believe it's a, a young lady who kills herself. And um, there are 13 reasons as to why she does. And it deals with other people, um, I guess, dealing with that person's suicide. So I'm quite interested to read this and then dive into the show and see what I think about it overall. 
The next book is a fantasy, and this is one by one of my newest favorite authors. I actually loved his um, Nevernight and God's Grave books, so I'm quite excited to get into this, and I really wanted to dive into this since it came out, and that's going to be Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in the Lotus War trilogy, and all that I know is that this is a Japanese kind of steampunk fantasy novel. It is YA borderline adult. Um, so I'm quite excited to get into this. I will be listening to the audiobook as well as reading this, so I am so stoked and so pumped. Um, I, I just need something until Dark Dawn comes out, and I figured diving into his other trilogy would work best, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so the next set of books are all books that were sent to me from for review from different companies and publishers and authors. So the first one I have for you guys is Lies, Love, and Breakfast at Tiffany's by Julie Wright. I was sent this book from the publishing company. They um, contacted me and see if I'd be interested in reading it, and I said that I would. It's basically considered to be a chick lit. Um, this, to me, is basically a contemporary romance. I don't know much about it. I do know that the main character's name is Sylvia Bradshaw, and she basically wants to make known that women can do things besides be pretty in Hollywood and there is a guy I think his name was Ben Mason yeah Ben Mason that she has to work with um and it's their romance pretty much the next book is by Morgan L. Bussey, and this is Mark of the Raven. This is the first book in the Ravenwood saga. I read this already, as you guys can see. Yes, I loved it. I gave this a five stars. This is considered an adult Christian fantasy, and it sounds weird, but it was actually really, really good. This did not seem like it had, um, it, there really didn't seem to be a difference between it being a Christian fantasy and a regular fantasy. Um, the world building was amazing. The magic system was amazing. The characters were so layered and, um, developed that I truly enjoyed this, and there is a sequel coming out next year which is called flight of the raven i am so excited to dive into this i gave this book five stars i marked this book all the way up and i loved it basically this follows um a young girl named lady celine i believe she's in her 20s or her her early 20s if i'm not mistaken and her being the heir or the heiress rather of the house of ravenwood she has now come into the age where she can come into her gift um, and the gift is the gift of dream walking, but not many people know that her house still has that gift because something happened in the past that kind of devastated her house, the house of Ravenwood. And um, from then on, it was kept a secret and the woman ended up using their magical ability for evil. She's struggling with using, the ability, using her ability to please her mother and be evil or to follow her heart and be good. So I truly enjoy this. This is a dual perspective book because it follows a guy named Grand Lord Damien who is 24 years old and he's dealing with the same kind of thing of using his ability to protect people but protecting people without killing people. So um, it's such a such such a good book. I enjoyed it so much and I cannot wait for the sequel. The next book I have is again another Christian novel. This is called A Light on a Hill by Connie Lincoln-Set. This is the first book in the Cities of Refuge saga because there are four books. I thought there were technically three but now there's a fourth book she's working on for this and I'm so excited to read this. This is an adult historical fiction that is set in like biblical time and it follows a young girl named Mariah and her having the Canaanite, the mark of the Canaanite gods as well as her time being a captive in Jericho. I don't know much about it except for that and I'm quite excited to just see what this does and how far it delves into um, scripture and living it out. Just quite interested to see where this goes. The next book is called Dragon Watch and it's by Brandon Mall. And I actually read this already. I'm not sure if you guys can see the tabs in this. Can you see the tabs? Yeah, you can see it now. But um, I read this. This is a, I'm going to say middle grade because um, the characters are young. But it's middle grade slash YA fantasy about dragons and demons and monsters and other paranormal characters. And I absolutely enjoy this. There are go go golems, trolls, dragons, unicorns. I mean, it is such a phenomenal read. I think I gave this four stars. I really did enjoy this already. So, yes, I have that. And I also have the sequel, which is Dragon Watch Wrath of the Dragon King by Brandon Maul. Again, this is the same kind of middle grade slash YA fantasy that has a lot of dragons to it with unicorns and trolls and goblins and golems and all that. I cannot wait to dive into this and see what happens next. The next two books are from the same author. It's um, the first two books in a trilogy, and the trilogy is called Last Reality. And I have Other Worlds, written by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. This is the first book, and I'm actually reading this now, hence why I have my bookmark in here. I'm not that far into it. I'm listening to the audiobook as well, and the audiobook actually has Jason Siegel narrating it, so I'm quite excited to see where this goes. All that I know is that this is a sci-fi that deals with virtual gaming. 
um, and a virtual world. That's pretty much it. And to go with this, I also have the sequel, which is called Other Earth. So I'm quite excited to dive into both of these books. Again, this is a YA sci-fi. Okay, guys, so those are all 14 books that I want to read this month. I'm quite excited to dive into these. I think it's a good mix of some fantasy, some sci-fi, some contemporary. Um, I'm a fantasy person. That's just what I am all about, the fantasy world with the magic systems and the characters and the drama. That's what I love. It is my babe. It's my heart. But I do have a few contemporaries here and there, so I'm quite excited to dive into all of these books. Again, I've already read like four or five of these books already. Let's see, I read one, two, three. Yeah, so I read four books and I'm working on my fifth one already of the 14 books. So not that bad and we're only eight days or seven days, I think. Seven days? Yeah, we're only seven days into the month. So I think that's a pretty good way to start off the month and I'm quite excited to see what I think about all of these. Hopefully everything will be over four star ratings for me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!